Tuesday is primary day here in Virginia. Among the races that will be decided, the Democratic nominee for Richmond Sheriff. Current Sheriff Antoinette Irving is seeking re-election. She's being challenged by former jail employee William Burnett. CBS 6's Cameron Thompson breaks down the race. When Richmonders go to the polls for the Democratic primary Tuesday, among their choices is for the city's sheriff, with incumbent Antoinette Irving seeking a second term. And, and I feel that we've done a good job, we as a group, um, and that, that I deserve a, a, another term. But challenging her is William Burnett, who served as Lieutenant Colonel under Sheriff C.T. Woody, the man Irving defeated in 2017. I think Richmond it needs a change. I think it's been proven that it needs a change. Among her first-term accolades, Irving points to bringing in programs to prepare inmates for release. We want to make sure they're career-ready, work-ready, um, home-ready, um, and community-ready. Burnett says he'll also bring in programs for, quote, building better people, but adds he'll push for reforms, including body cameras and a civilian review board. When you keep that kind of openness and transparency, you keep a place honest. Burnett says a big motivator for him to run was hearing from current and former deputies complain about jail safety driven in part by a staffing shortage. And I understand the suffering that they're going through right now. The sheriff's office reports 110 vacancies and a turnover rate between 11 to 12 percent, which Irving says is a problem other departments are facing. So we're under the average of the state right now. We are working hard to... Uh, get more staff. Irving cites retirement, COVID-19, and poor pay compared to other jurisdictions and says incentives and good training can help attract new recruits. She disputes Burnett's claims it's actually about poor morale. This is all poor management. This is all poor leadership. And the sheriff uh, is just doing a bad job. Clearly, it has become a very contentious point in race. CBS 6 political analyst Dr. Bob Holsworth says this is a common matchup for sheriff between incumbent and former employee he says Burnett faces an uphill climb as the race has likely been overshadowed by the bigger name races, such as the one for governor, and voters may turn to endorsements to help make their decision. You know, who's basically in some ways um, certifying that the um, sheriff has done a great job or not a great job. And regarding the sheriff's race and all others in the primary, the last day for in-person early voting is tomorrow, June 5th, while the primary itself will be held next Tuesday on June 8th.